All right, so this is going to be short axis out of plane technique. We've got the probe in our non-dominant hand. We have to hold it in such a way that our hand's not in the path of our needle. We find our target in short axis. We look across the screen and see that it's about one and a half centimeters deep. We hold our needle with an overhand grip so we can maneuver it as much as we need to. We start about a centimeter and a half back from the probe, just get in the skin, and then we slide our probe back to find our needle in the skin. And then we slide our probe back to find our needle in the skin. And then we slide our probe back to find our needle in the skin. And then we slide our probe back to find our needle in the skin. And we'll shake it a little bit, that helps us identify it. Then we fan the probe past the needle till we can't see it on the screen anymore. Then we fan the probe past the needle till we can't see it on the screen anymore. Then we fan the probe past the needle till we can't see it on the screen anymore. Then we fan the probe past the needle till we can't see it on the screen anymore. Then we bring the needle in view. Then we fan past it. Chase it with our needle again. So we're making incremental steps down toward, towards our target. This helps us make sure we don't go all the way through it and hit a structure in the back that we don't intend to, like a nerve or an artery. And now looks like we're in. We can confirm in the long axis view. And now we should be able to thread our catheter off if we're ready. Or place a wire if we're doing a Seldinger technique.